Hey, this is Robert Brown, um, one of the founding members of the ID Theft Center, which is an organization that goes around the community and educate the people on the subject of identity theft and how to protect themselves properly from becoming the next victim. Now, one thing about identity theft, it is not 100% preventable. Uh, so, but there are ways you can measure or put in measures or uh, put in uh, walls to kind of protect yourself uh, from identity theft. But again, this is not a telltale all solution, but we're gonna talk about tax identity theft today. Tax identity theft right now is the hottest type of identity theft right now in the market right now. Unfortunately, some people are gonna get their identity stolen and it might be you. And there's no way you can say you are not gonna be the next victim. One out of three people right now are victims of identity theft and they don't even know it. And there's multiple forms of identity theft and there's more growing every day. So there's, you know, most people look at credit and, and your money as identity theft, but this is bigger than you. Identity theft is just you becoming you in every way, shape or form um, just to take away from the very things you work so hard for. Now, because it is tax season, I think it's important that I talk about some things that you can do to kind of minimize your risk of becoming a victim of tax identity stuff. So here I go with my glasses, my reading glasses, because, you know, brother getting up there old a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to go through some steps that you can take to prevent yourself from becoming the next victim. Step number one, you should file early. That's right. Get that thing in as quick as possible. Get it from your job, go online to ADP or whatever, and download that and go file your documents early. The longer you wait, the easier you give a crook, a thief, an opportunity to get that information and get your money. So file early. Number two, um, if you're gonna file online, and I'm not a big fan of filing online, but if you're gonna do it, make sure you have, make sure you're filing on a secure um, computer or laptop. Make sure that wherever you send it to, it's a secured website. Make sure you got plenty of virus software. It's not important to have one software. You're gonna have to have a suite of software just to deal with the different types of um, viruses, malware, spyware, um, bytes, and all that kind of stuff. You wanna make sure you got plenty of software um, on your computer if you're gonna do e-filing. And make sure it's credible software, you know, like Capernaum, like um, uh, McAfee, you know, um, and I can go on and on and on about the different types of um, um, uh, software that's out there, like Nord and things like that. Make sure it's a credible software with rave reviews. Uh, don't go download software off a website unless it's one of these organizations. I prefer you to go to Best Buy and buy you one, or go to Microsoft and buy theirs, or you know, just get some kind of protection software on your computer if you're gonna file. I mean, you gotta understand data miners and things like that. They they attach these through your computer. And it can it can come as a megapixel on a picture you download, and it can actually read everything on your computer. It can actually turn on your um, your, your your camera on your laptop and see into your house without you thinking um, that your laptop camera is on. So you got to be very careful. Make sure you got plenty of software on that. Uh, right now, tax season, over 130 million people are gonna be sending information back and forth. Not only their social security uh, number, not only their address, their name, um, but even their kids' personal information. Right now, child identity theft is the hottest identity theft right now because your kids virtually have a clean record. Their children's right now, children right now, uh, that haven't even been born yet, still in the mama belly, but they got a social security number and somebody is using it right now. And I can refer you uh, to some videos uh, that talks about child ID and theft and how pr they're predicting social security numbers before the child is born. So make sure that um, uh, you're very careful about transferring your information back and forth. Number two, stay away from phone calls, emails, saying that you owe taxes. I got one the other day and I just laughed and laughed. And I took the number and I filed it with the Federal Trade Commission. Beware that IRS is not gonna be calling you telling you about your taxes. They're not gonna be emailing you telling you about your taxes. Beware any of those fraudulent things. It sound good, it sound correct, but it's a scam. Do not go for it. 
They're trying to take your information. We call it phishing. They're phishing for information. They do it on the website, they do it on the phone. They're phishing for your information so they can steal it. So don't be a victim of that. Now, num another thing, stay away from pop-up fly-by-night organizations like Joe Johnson's Tax Service or Eddie Guerrero Tax Preparation and uh, you know, Mickey Belicky, you know, Tax Services. Stay away from that. If you're gonna, you know, go that route, make sure they have a history. Make sure they have some reviews, any kind of review, Angie List, or make sure, I mean, maybe check the Better Business Bureau, check the local chambers of commerce. Make sure they're a credible organization. But you gotta watch it, because some of these guys, they'll sign a document where they can go in and out of your personal information all year, and you do not want that. You wanna limit your tax preparer for having access to your personal information. So stay away from them, vet them, vet them. Make sure they're credible um, before you do any kind of business with them. Um, tax franchises like H&R Block, Jackson here, they're good, but can I tell you something? They're not gonna teach you how to maximize the most out of your taxes, why? Because they're not CPAs, they don't know the tax laws, they're not refreshed with the tax laws. So they're not gonna, um, they don't have the ability to really teach you how to maximize your taxes. Their job is just to help you file your taxes and get your money. Uh, but it, um, I prefer you to go to a CPA. Now I know it may be a little costly, but some CPAs, they, they work on a, um, uh, a percentage of your refund basis. So go to a certified public accountant. One thing about accountant, they're not gonna monkey around with your personal information. Why? Because their CPA license is on the line and they need that, that's how they make their money. And they're not gonna put that in jeopardy for you or anybody. So you're gonna have credible people, most of them, probably work with the IRS. I got one guy right now, and I'll refer him to you, um, who used to work um, with the IRS and knows the tax laws and refresh himself with the tax laws and teach you how to maximize your taxes and what you can do to kind of increase um, your refund. You know, those are the type of organizations you want to kind of uh, be involved with. Um, um, your local social service, at least they're not going to teach you how to maximize your taxes, but they have programs that's, that help those who are moderate income or low income to help them prepare their taxes so you don't have to go to the franchises or to the pop-up fly, by night, fly my, by night. You got people within uh, the local state government that's willing to help you protect your taxes. Um, some of them are for free. Um, be very careful. Oh, let, no, let me go back to that. Um, when you're dealing with these um, people who are preparing your taxes, you got to make sure that they have a PTIN number um, with the IRS, which makes them um, legitimate. Make sure they got a PTIN number so they can be legitimate. Um, be very careful, like I said, be careful about the e-filing, electric filing. Um, some of their program has been um, easy to tamper with by thieves and, and thieves have taken people personal information from these e-filing programs, these e-filing software that you get from Walmart or Best Buy. Be very careful. Again, the best way to get your taxes prepared is a certified public accountant. They will teach you how to maximize it. And when they send it, they send it in bunches and they'll send it in a way where it's protected. Why? Because they don't want their CPA uh, license to be on the, because I mean, they're, they, they're obligated. They're obligated. Another one, like I said, stay away from fake sites, websites and things like that. Now, here's the thing. Right now, the IRS is doing some things right now to increase um, your chance of of not becoming a victim. I think right now when you usually become a victim, and I got a friend named Linda Soto, and whenever we do our workshops, I'll let you know I post it on Facebook, uh, mainly for the people here in New York. Uh, but there is a pen, there's a document called ID Theft Affidavit that you can fill out, and you can request what they call a um, um, IP pin, which stands for Identity Protection Personal Identity Number. Now, this would not protect you from becoming a victim of identity theft, but it will help you deal with your um, tax um, refund filing. This um, IP PIN, um, which stands for Identity Protection Personal ID Number. This PIN will help you minimize your risk of somebody stealing your personal information too, because that number, the IRS is gonna check it out and verify that this is you, this is your uh, account. 
Um, before, um, and last but not least, and I'm gonna kind of pause for a second here and take out these glasses. I'm gonna get serious with you for a minute. You got to get protected. You have to get some identity theft protection program, but you gotta be careful on what kind of protection program you can get. It is one of the best investments you can make into yourself. Right along with health insurance, right along with life insurance, uh, uh, identity theft protection and legal protection is one of the best things to happen to you. Because when you become a victim of identity theft, you have a legal situation. Because now this thing is going cross country. You know, somebody may have taken your identity here. Somebody probably, you know, there's so many forms of identity theft, character and criminal, driver's license identity theft, um, you know, child identity theft, um, you know, social security identity theft, you know, uh, um, uh, there's so many, so many, and, and I can go on and on. And if you go to my workshop, you'll learn about the multiple forms of identity theft. There's so many out there. And most of these so-called identity theft protection agencies can't really protect your identity. All they can do is protect your credit file, which you can protect yourself by putting a lock on it, which most people would suggest that you do at this time, lock your credit file, but you don't want to lock your credit file. But the organization that I, um, that I work with um, on a consistent basis, um, and I will send you a link down at the bottom of this video where you can link on. I have a website connected to this organization um, that will bring you a program that's going to help you protect your identity. Um, it's called ID Shield. ID Shield right now trumps uh, life lock. Um, my phrase with life lock is personally if you mess with it you can get your life taken away or you can get locked up because it doesn't deal with criminal identity theft which can cause you to get locked up. Yes, you can get locked up for crimes you didn't commit. It doesn't deal with medical identity theft. Yes, there's a thing called medical identity theft where people who are getting medical treatment in your name altering your, med altering your medical record which puts you in a position that if you ever go to a hospital unconscious and your blood file has been altered to a different blood type and they begin to infuse you with blood, case ra, case ra, you're gone. And these are happening, happening as we speak, as I speak right now. These companies can't help you with that. Our company, the ID Shield, um, but backed by Legal Shield and Crow Background of America. Crow Background America is the number one risk management forensic agency in the world in the world you can't get into this country without crow crow is the one that helped track down saddam hussein's financial network crow is the one that helped rebuild enron when that and, and when that thing got torn down crow um you can't even get into this country without crow anytime you go into the military or whatever Kroll is involved with that. Kroll uh, is a company started by Jules Kroll, which is made of former uh, FBI and CIA agents running this organization. And they are the only organization that has access to the 100 plus international and national database that your personal information is in. Your information like your social security information, your school records, any criminal record you got, whatever. They have access to that. And they can help you deal uh, with minimize your risk with tax identity theft and all the other forms of identity theft. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you a link, uh, and I just want you to educate yourself. I'm not a salesman, I, you know. You know, I, I'm just a person that's passionate. I'm a consumer activist. I want to make sure people protect themselves. I want to make sure people live life to the fullness without all these headaches and these things that cause that attack you and throw you off course in life. So please watch the videos that I'm going to send. Get educated about the ID Shield program and the Legal Shield program. But like I said, when you have an identity theft problem, you got a le um, you got a legal problem, and you wanna you wanna I mean, and let me say your identity problem going to be in different states, multiple states, and you ain't got time to go down there and deal with that stuff. You don't have the money. The um, ID Shield will back is backed by a five million dollar guarantee, saying that they got they'll fix that thing for you. And they fixed my identity when somebody got a car in my name and they dealt with that situation. So I encourage you to watch the video. When you watch the video, if you want to ask any questions, inbox me on my fa Facebook. Or if you want to go ahead and get protected, you can go right to the link under the video. Go right to my website and get protected. Um, stand along is $12.95, a great investment. I can tell you how you can get it tax deductible. Um, but uh, I'm not going to go about it. Um, I'm not going to talk about it much. I let the videos speak for themselves. But by all means, this is the season where <laughs> what you work so hard for can be taken away from you just like that this year. 
Imagine that you work hard and here it is income tax time and you got great plans and you come to find out your money is gone. The money is gone. And that will hurt you to your stomach. But you can minimize your risk by those simple steps and by getting yourself protected. We will do, and we have um, in our program, Fit In, uh, where we talk, <coughs> where we will hire a tax attorney to help you deal with tax identity theft and any other kind of tax situation that you have. They'll answer all your questions. They'll look at all your documents, um, uh, which is part of the program as a member. You get access to this uh, 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 on an unlimited basis. So watch the video, click the link or email me, but get yourself protected. Because if you don't, remember this, Robert Brown told me so. I love you. Bye-bye.